the goal of the foundation, the goal of, uh, of myself at least, is that if I can change one person's life as a result of this organization, then it will have been worth the effort that we've put in. Hi, I'm Ryan Wagler. I'm with GiveYourTalents.org, and I'm sitting here with Elliot Becker and Murr and Eric Wagler, co-founder of GiveYourTalents.org. And we're going to tell you a little bit about uh, the Michael Becker Foundation. I've been working with the Michael Becker Foundation for the last couple of years. I've done a handful of events for them. Um, number one, they're very, very involved in music and supporting the arts. And number two, they're raising awareness for a worthy cause that um, hasn't, hasn't really ha received a lot of publicity or attention, doesn't have a lot of information. You know, this is a great cause for us to be involved with. You said Michael was a fan of music, you're a fan of music. And, um, you know, this is just the first. We plan to, to tie in with some other charities as well. But, um, you know, this is a great cause, and we're just happy to, that, Elliot, we're happy that you're involved and that we can do this. And I can't tell you how grateful um, the foundation is of people like you who are out there. Um, there there's no, you know, you don't, you don't have to do this. Um, you know, none of you knew Mike. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's kind of what musicians are all about anyway. Um, from top to bottom, you know, you see the, the, you know, the gigantic events that they have. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of of the age where, you know, music really made a difference for a lot of people, um, even going back as far as, you know, like, like the 60s, and to see people still having that heart and that soul to help other people out and to make a difference you know, in the community is, is it's, it's even hard to put, to put into words. You know, it's just like you said, people want to help, we just want to make it easy for them to help. And that's what the site's all about. Bringing some people together, you know, raising awareness for a worthy cause, getting bands, artists, people with talents involved, and uh, just kind of helping to facilitate the whole thing and, and uh, doing what we can to help out. As I became closer to the team and uh, the family and the friends that are involved with the Michael Becker Foundation. I learned more and, and some of the things that are happening with um, the disease called dual diagnosis definitely affects a lot of the artist community um, for people that are creative and uh, it's, it's great to find a support system that can help shed some light on that. So um, Elliot Becker is one of the chairmen for the foundation and also the father of Michael Becker and uh, he can tell us more about the organization. Thanks, Murr. Um, it, this is really an honor to be sitting up here with, with both of you guys, or all three of you guys, I should say. Um, it's, it's just awesome when people get it and when they care. Um, a couple of Septembers ago, um, I received a call that, that no parent ever, ever wants to hear. Um, it was from my other son who had come home and found Michael um, cold and blue. Um, I raced home, I lived close by, and by the time I got there, it, it had already happened. Um, my, Mike had a, had a really difficult life. Um, a brilliant kid who, who um, because of, of the turmoil that was going on in his head, um, never really, really fit in. Um, shortly before he died, we had found out about the concept of dual diagnosis, which is the confluence of mental illness uh, Mike was um, alternately diagnosed as bipolar, depressed, even a sociopath, and addiction. And what ultimately um, took Michael's life was uh, a heroin overdose. Um, but all through his life, there were, there were different things that we were trying to do. You know, he's, he had a couple of stints in a local hospital here for his mental illness issues. Um, the summer before he died, he spent out in San Francisco at a drug rehab facility. And, and what you find in these places is that in a mental health hospital, they focus on nurturing and medication. And in a drug rehab facility, it, it's, it's very strict and, um, you know, total abstinence. The problem is, is that more than half the people, close to 60% of the people who suffer from one condition suffer from the other, which makes sense. Um, if, you're, if you have a mental illness and you can't figure out how to feel better, you start self-medicating. That was, that was one of Michael's issues. Um, if, you're, if you're heavily into some sort of substance abuse, um, that can ultimately lead to mental illness as well. So, so the, reverse, the reverse is true. 
So when Mike passed away, we, we felt, um, our, our entire family felt that we needed to find out how we can, how we can make his life have some value. And, and again, a couple months before he passed, we, we found out about dual diagnosis. Um, and what we did is we created this foundation um, that has three basic concepts to it. Um, the first one is education. And what we try to do is get out mostly to high school kids because they're the most vulnerable and talk to them about, uh, you know, not necessarily the dangers of doing drugs because we don't believe that telling kids that will be a, a very effective message, but more that um, to uh, live clear, as, as Mer was saying, with, with the wristband that uh, I'm also wearing that was designed by another one of our children. Um, help, help yourself, help your friends, be smart about, about what's going on. The second part of what we um, do in, a, in addition to education is assistance. Um, many people don't have the resources to get into some of these programs. Um, and sadly, at least at this point, insurance companies aren't readily covering dual diagnosis. They'll cover um, uh, a mental health stay, um, and it's very rare that they'll um, cover a, a drug abuse situation. Um, and then finally, um, we're hoping to help um, raise enough funds to um, provide research um, in this, uh, in, uh, to deal with this condition. Um, so that's basically what we're about. Uh, Michael and I um, shared an interest in music, and um, uh, I, like Merce said, I, uh, we met through a mutual, um, through a mutual acquaintance, and and he's kind of been my good luck charm ever since, and he's he's been playing at all my shows, and we just keep growing. It's been awesome um, to be in a community like that. Um, it's about support system, and especially for bands. I mean, you guys know what it's like to be broke and and uh, <laughs> to just have people out there, especially when it's for the art. It's tough, especially in today's society, to really push something like that. And um, you know, thank God for me, music was an outlet for that. And uh, thank God my family and my friends served as a support system for those times that I fell down. And that's what I think is um, exciting about this opportunity. I've worked with a lot of different people, and I've put some really cool things together and, and been a part of some really cool projects. But the reason why I feel this one is going to stand out is um, it's, it's three parties that work together to make the win-win-win scenario, where um, first and foremost, the Michael Becker Foundation gets uh, some light shed. You know, you heard a lot about what's going on, um, what happened with his son, and if you think about that, you know, especially in the art community, we might know some people like that that might, you know, benefit from some of that research or even just to know about that. The fact that you and your family didn't know about that until after he died, you know, that's got to be like a like a gut check. Like, oh man, I wish we would have, you know, it's easy to say that. I wish we would have known. Well, it's, it's really interesting because I was, one day I was working out at the gym and I'm, um, I'm one of those folks who's <laughs> capable of actually reading while I'm riding the bike, so the stationary bike. And I'm reading Chuck Klosterman's book, Four. And there was an article about Wilco. And Jeff Tweedy has actually come out publicly and said that he is a sufferer of dual diagnosis. And um, when we've had various fundraisers and, and, and tried to um, you know, have silent auction type of things. Wilco has, has participated, as have many other members of the music com uh, community. Um, um, James E. Half, formerly of the Smashing Pumpkins, um, has supported us. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, Michael McDermott, who's a, um, very, very popular here in the city of Chicago. So we, we've gotten great support, and I, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that a lot of folks in the music community have, have probably dealt with very similar issues. You know, it's great to team up music, and music happens everywhere, but to give it a reason and a purpose more than just to get together and have a good time um, and to raise awareness and funds for something worthy um, is a great way to get that done. And that's why I know teaming up with GoDiY Records is a, is a smart move. These guys have um, done it from the grassroots up, and uh, they've got some great ties here in the Midwest, and they're working their hustle out in Los Angeles as well. And this is the very, very beginning of um, a lot of cool events and, and networking scenarios that are going to happen within the artist community and with everybody involved with Michael Becker and Go DIY. And I'm really glad to be a part of it. Um, Eric, as, as a band, you know, if we, if we were to reach out to the bands and people were to say, hey, what's in it, you know, 
in essence, what's in it for me? What would you say the benefits are for a band or an artist, say like a photographer or a graphic designer or a web designer, anybody within the community, um, what, what would you say is the benefit to them? Well, I, I think the biggest benefit is, is it's just like Ryan said, a lot of people, they want to help. They want to do something, but, you know, they don't really know how or where to start. So, you know, here you go. Put your music up on the site. Put your talent up. We'll provide you with some tools on how to promote this talent. And, you know, it, we'll make it easy for you to help out. So get involved. Help us out. If you're an artist, if you're someone with a talent that wants to help other people, come to the site, upload your talent and get involved. That's what it's all about. GiveYourTalents.org. Murr's here with us. We thank Murr for coming and being involved. MurrPlay.com. And of course, Elliot with the Michael Becker Foundation. Thank you so much. Look for these bracelets. They're going to be all over the place. <laughs>